Hey, welcome back. Every so often we get asked a question which isn't that difficult to answer and sometimes it helps if we just got a video that we put out there so everyone else can enjoy it. We're talking about animated headlines and someone saw something on a website and they were like, well, how do I create that? And all it required was them to just think outside the box a little bit. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So we're in Elementor, we've got a section, two columns, nothing major there. We're just gonna go for animated. An animated headline is there. This is part of Elemental Pro. Now, the feature they wanted to go for was rather than go for the highlighted effect, they wanted to go for a rotate. And they didn't want to go for a type, they wanted to go for the drop-in. Not the drop-in, it's the uh, slide down, that's it. So they want to go for something like this where you've got a statement before and then you've got the words dropping in and that is fantastic. The only problem they had though was that they wanted the wording before. So where we've got the, this page is better, bigger, faster. They wanted the better, bigger, faster bit to be below this page is. So they were going, well, you know, I, how do I do that? If I put a break point in, if I do this, nothing works. How, how am I going to get it to work? Because they're kind of shown on almost like one line. And all it required was just a little bit of thought. So I'm just going to stylize this for a moment. We're going to leave it as a Roboto 3. OK, and we're going to leave it as 600 for now. OK, I'm now going to go over here and do a headline instead, not an animated headline, a heading. Sorry, let me get that right. I'm going to change this to say this page is and we'll just make it the same color as well. I know you're probably going, God, you could have done that before. So this page is there's our text, right? Standard header, nothing else going on with it at the moment. Over here with the animated headline, we're now going to get rid of this page is. So now we have just the wording like that. Let's just align this to be to the left hand side. Now you will notice there is a bit of spacing there between the two elements in a way. So I could go to column, go to my layout and make the widget space be zero or leave it as it is. Just click on the animated headline. Remember to make sure you check this on your, um, your tablet and your mobile as well because you might need to adjust how much you changed it. But if I just go over here to the margin, I could now just make this be closer. Now, because I've pushed this up 38 pixels, when it comes down, can you see that the overlap there? As it comes down, it just slightly overlaps the bottom of the wording, which isn't probably what you want. You want it to look a little bit cleaner. You don't want it to be coming out of the other wording. So what you want to do is two things. Number one is go to the heading and give that a Z index of two. So now that is in front of the animated headline. And if you're a little bit worried, just give the animated headline a Z index of one. So the heading is two, the animated headline is one. So two is higher than one. And just do the background like this. So I'm gonna give it a white color. So now when we look at it, okay, it is coming down, but it's not coming out of the wording because the wording now has a white background there. So if you had a red section, you might wanna do that. However, if you've got an image behind you, you might not be so fussed about that. But this is a really simple, easy way of how you just kind of, I mean, look, let's just change the animated text color to be an orange, okay? It's a really simple way of how you can now have it, where you've got your text and now you've got your headline appearing below rather than in line, in effect. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow, and I'll see you soon.